God, I'm a bad shot. Oh, wow, did you see how much damage that did? I got a rest. See that shot. Kira kira hare mai. Greetings and welcome. I am Guru. We are in the Knights Family Drive-In in Drucker County with the Fortress taking on the No Man's Land mod. But you know this. Unless this is the first time you are watching this No Cheese No Cheats playthrough. So in the last episode we managed to move into this new base from the original starter base and our strategy from here is pretty simple uh oh that's not good um is to clear out these play carts so that we can have access to this entire town and actually put up a defensive outpost uh one day we will head south as well but for now that is our task at hand now we have got our illustrious leader to lead the charge but we also are three minutes away which is not long from having a uh, from uh, making some fuel bombs because we don't have that but we do have some bloated gas grenades but what I think I'm going to do in this up first is we're just going to drive down to the tartan mart and give it a bit of a loot um, and just see what we run into in terms of uh, opponents get a feel for it you know sounds like an opportunity it does, End doesn't it? You saw. So what we'll do is we will kick out zombies. some primary care. Control this town. We need outposts. And we might as well take out some plague hearts too. He's got the idea. Yes. That's exactly what we're gonna do. But first things first, we did kill a plague heart, in fact two plague hearts to move into this area. Ah, and so we should make sure soup. that we uh, actually get our reward for doing so. Not that this is a rewards based game, it's more a pain based game, but you know, it is what it is. Oop, he's after me, but, and he's called them over there to my vehicle. Very, very handy. That's all right, we're not necessarily looking for a fight at this stage. It's clear, but I can't really secure this place with a plague heart so close by. Now this is going to plan. No horribles waiting for us. Okay, no some fire stims, excellent. Bows, excellent. Probably should have dropped some stuff off before we came. We're kind of half ready to hit the the play cart, but that's okay. I didn't expect it to be this quiet, to be honest. I expected a smash and grab. rather than actually being able to loot it so okay we'll take it there's quite a few zombies in the area there's also some infestations in the area so we've got to watch out for uh, random ferals and the like charging across at us we do not want that uh, we'll hold on to that actually and pop those in there for now we don't want to use those accidentally right let's go back get the rest of the stuff and then by the time we get back and drop off those meds which we do need we should have uh we should have upgraded our workshop so we can make some fire and then we can take that with us and we will have a first hit against that play cart it's not too bad down here i'm happy with it and uh, we'll take stuff which we can scrap we can always come back for the um plague samples it's the one thing you never run out of in this mod plague samples In Sud City or Dewey's, it looks like it might be Dewey's Hardware, is where we'll find the next heart, which is cool. Oh, not Dewey's. Ah, right. Good to know. The one over from it. Some kind of blank store of some description.
but that will be our target and we'll take our other vehicle for that one we'll take the truck because the truck cannot be destroyed by zombies jumping on the hood uh-huh we should still be all right we've got this guy We've got a bloater. Nice. All right. Are you getting any closer? They are getting closer. All right, well, let's see how the team goes against these guys. It's up, fellas. Now, when the zombies come over this fence, my team annihilates them. too close to the entrance of my liking, but here we go. I did not mean to do that. Fire the hole! Alright, it's taking care of him. I accidentally used a... Uh, An energy drink, but that's okay. We'll live with that. Used up a bit of ammo too. All right, let's chuck that away. Let's chuck those away. Right, so re-equipping ourselves. Let's make some fire. Uh, we need power. Of course. How long is that going to take? Three minutes. Bang. We're losing daylight. Well, we've got one fuel bomb. So that might have to do us. Um, we'll drop those back because we won't be taking any more than that. And can we make some more... Right, so we want to install a biochem station as well. So we're still kind of building up our base. But we can definitely give this a first hit. Except I have to reverse up a little bit. I think. In order to grab the fuel, the gas can. No, it's not even. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't. S oh, we've got two more. Material rucksacks in there. I forgot I even had 25. So if we put that in there, that in there. Excellent. Right, our food situation is flat for now. We can put that in as well. It's all right, some background noise. Just get a morale boost. The space is shaping up. And. Um, for some reason, it won't seem to let me put... Oh, there it is. Vehicle upgrades. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. Sorry for the stuffing around. We will get there. So we've already had one siege of this place. It did not go too badly, but the enemy all came from the, from the one direction. So we're going to have to watch out for the that i mean look at that holy crap no sieges please no sieges okay let's check our our gear all right three minutes away one minute away it's probably worth waiting unfortunately so we'll grab these samples them in Put this door go right so hmm our equipment's not looking as bad as it could have been you know all things considered we're going to take some pretty decent armaments with us this time i really should fix that up but it's going to take a while and it's going to make a lot of noise but once our uh once our workshop is complete 
well, installing the bike generator, we should be all right. It'll cost one labor, but we'll still have enough labor to um, to claim the cinema. Two, one, like watching paint dry. Oh my goodness gracious, man. This is taking way longer than I would like. Um, we... All right, we might see, hmm. But to do this properly, we are going to have to wait. Unfortunately. What? Let's go up here, though, and see how well these guys are handling that enormous mob. And jeepers, creepers, would you look at that? I could lead those away. That's something we can do. Um, something just finished. What was it? Ah, the biochem station. So to make more load of gas, six samples, three chems, two fuel. It's actually all right. Still, we are about to spend a fair amount of fuel on bombs, so, you know. All right. We're going to try and lead some of these zombies away down the road. Just so that if there is a siege, that happens while we're at the, uh... Oh, man. Can't even get into my car. What have I done? Uh, yeah, if there is a siege, it doesn't drag those guys in. seen that many zombies. I mean, there's a few, but... Wow, still damage the vehicle though, right? Well, we can lead them away or lead them to the kill zone. Not as good as the kill zone on the other side, but that's alright. Alright, uh, it's one minute, one minute, one minute. Right, so the other thing we could do with is a do with is a computer's expert so that we can add another outpost. Not that we've got anywhere to put another outpost just at the moment. Nowhere convenient. We've got this mission turn up. Shoot him. I'll leave them to it. Um, yeah, so these are these guys up here. I'm not sure who they are. Um, I guess we could maybe help them out. Okay, so background, let's... Yeah, let's start repairing that. And let's make some fuel bombs. actually kind of cheaper to make bloater gas grenades all right well we'll go with fuel bombs once and then we've got a still so we can make turn food into fuel which is our beloved fuel econ food based economy uh i didn't grab the actual fuel bombs i just made them it's good to get these kind of wrinkles out of my out of my game early we go so we'll be f hmm i think we'll try and ration those we'll do what we can with four of them though that's not a lot we'll take some more i just want to save a few in case you know i don't want to spend end up using these in a defensive action if i can avoid it I will, of course, that plague heart can't be far throw away. them to keep, you know, a pack I of ferals it. off me or something like that. But ideally what I want to use them for is throwing them at zombies crowded around the plague heart, etc. As an offensive weapon rather than, a, than as a response. As defense. Alright, 
this place is like walled in which I'm not a big fan of Start. Go. I rest. We go straight in with the bloater gas. We take this guy. What did he drop? Fifty cal. All right. So this is an infestation. We're going straight in. No, we're not. It's a screamer. I heard him. Can't see him. All right. Well, that sucks. I never do get used to the smell. This thing is heavy. I'm just gonna. See what we can draw out. Test the water, so to speak, rather than go like full hand. Got a little bit distracted there to take out a screen up. burnt up the heart or not you know I, I doubt but hey we do what we can right Loader, watch your shots uh -uh. okay few too many and a bloater See, I'm a bit of a pyromaniac, which is why I probably shouldn't be given too many... Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't take too many fuel bombs with me, because I don't know how to not throw them. Closed door will hold them up. Okay, here's where we've got to be careful. The juggernaut will lurk outside, and if I go out the wrong side, and I'm hurt, it could be a bad day. Moderately safe inside, and this I get hit. Right on. So let's try and not get hit. They're about to blaze through there any second. Got some sort of curveball turning up. It looks like it might be some sort of standing or influence one. Ah, caught in the gap. not good That's, they're on the other side of the map I really need to look after those mind you they don't make a heck of a lot of difference at this stage I mean they do but they're just level ones oh come on We're going to go because we don't want to lose two meds. 
for a play cure. So that's a reasonable start. We're okay with that. It's a juggernaut. Missy. Missy, Missy, Missy. Hey, we got out of there. That's the important thing. Yeah. Nothing horrendous lurking around. Maybe a feral somewhere. There he is. I hope you can hear this. So we'll just go patch ourselves up and we'll be back on the front line. See, this is quite a good place to be located for taking out these play cards. I mean, they're just down the street. We can top up with whatever we need. Then get back into the fray. Now we've stirred them up a little bit, which is not ideal. I think, yeah, we're a bit low on stamina items, to be honest. So we'll grab those. I mean, we can make... make energy drinks and the like um, but we probably want to be a little more strategic we might try our bloater gas grenades at this stage at this point and we might try hmm. we'll take some firecrackers if only just to draw the zombies in and then fire fuel bomb them while they're next to the heart after ooh no doors and hmm a little bit risky tell you what they like being on the road so we're going to stay off the road Ah, right, these bloaters are everywhere. We'll park up next to this tree because I think that will make it a little trickier for them to approach. All right, there's that. So stealth is gone. straight into this but looks like this is what we're doing Button is not a good plan B. This is not going well. And there's a ton of them. And a bit low on health. Alright, you jerks. This way. Not sure that really helped us. Okay back this way we are probably just going to have to use a stem oh wow they saw me coming Loader, watch your shots man it's so easy to get stuck in there guys have been very difficult see that 
sits him through the door. Whoa! Wow, there are plenty of them. And I'm not really achieving anything, I'm just running around. We're just gonna have to get in there. The whole get in there and blow the gas only help only really works if you if they don't see you coming. So if we can get a, uh, a phase on this, that'll be good. Creepers. Get away with this. It's not the roach you can see. It's the millions hiding in the wall. Right. Think about that the next time you walk into a house that looks empty. All right. I'm not liking any of this. Bullshit. I don't ever play you. So that means it's time to go. And we're down to the last one. And that's just so I can dodge. This car needs to. Play How can I not have a play queue? I do have a play careful. queue. What am I talking about? But we want to get away from there anyway. Hmm. The zombies have rejected my proposal. Not good. Not good at all. <sighs> Happy about that? Nope. Check it out. I just delivered a load of useful junk. Yeah. We need useful junk. Okay, um, right. What are our other options for weapons? That. That's a lot of stuff. Right. We need to, we need to be better at this. And we might take someone else in. No, come on, leader. You've got a job to do. And that means getting your hands dirty and putting yourself in harm's way. But what's our bullet situation? Pretty low. Down to the last magazine here. Yeah, that's that's not great. But we do have a JL94 custom. If anyone knows me, I do like as a weapon. Right. And Hog Splitter is on its way out. I think we'll keep it up, though. Now, what are our injuries? Trauma, infected bites, minus 20 to our health. And that's okay. So 
we lost an outpost, did we? Where? Where did we lose this outpost? So this ammo outpost is what's yeah, protecting all my assets over there, so we will pay for that. And we will repair this vehicle. I gotta stay clear of that plague bloater. Hmm. Okay. So these hearts have 1800 hit points, which is why it's taking so long to take them down. Or even get a phase out of them. We'll give it another go, and this time we'll see if we can be a bit clear, a bit more clever at getting close to it without alerting all the zombies, and we might be able to drop those um, bloater gas grenades on it. Kill this guy. Right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Nice and quiet. Just how we like it. The music seems to suggest that there's bad bad news coming, but one thing at a time, right? Used to the smell. Don't know I'm here. Now we can use our bloated gas grenades. Possibly followed up by firecrackers and fuel. We'll see. We might even just see what's in here in case there's painkillers, uh, energy drinks, anything which will help us in our cause. We've got a minute. Alright, is that... Because, you know, we might as well go back with something. Even if we can't kill the heart, we've got to go back with something. This line around. Uh, and lost. it's not going to be a box of tampons. Wow, that was close. And that may have ruined a chance of surprise. We'll just have to wait and see. There's food. That's all good. You know where the food is. We're okay for food for once. I am happy to report. It was a big problem for a long time. Okay, so... Chuck that there. Fire in the hole! Almost done. Where is... I can't help but feel cheated. Really cheated. Where the hell did I park? Holy shit. Bollocks to that. Okay, so the nothing well, worked at all. Forward. The bloody gas didn't work. The ferals worked. These zombies spawning into the building I had already entered, that worked. The smashing my door off, that worked. Yeah, yeah, don't miss that one. and now night comes so that did not go well at all and somehow we're stirring play cards oh because we're shooting into the mist come on game give me a break seriously I 
Soul crushing. Are we having fun yet? Yep, thanks. Thanks. All right. Obviously, our leader is currently cursed, and we will need to come up with a different strategy. All right. Unfortunately, it's probably going to be, um, consist of going back and trying and trying and trying until we do it. Um, wow, I'm really disappointed about those blokes. Hey, we've got more road flares at least. So let's see, the road flare... I guess it must have to like land on the ground in plain sight, which is hard to do in that place. Wrist is hurt. What's up with that? Oh, that will not take long at all. So, yeah. Where's he going? He's going to claim that site as it does. Now there's a place that's lit. I'm all patched up. Where can I be used? Okay, Krista. Krista seems to do a lot of heavy lifting around here. We got a weird looking juggernaut here. I'll just say that right now. Okay. He does more than her fish here. Okay. That was rough. But we've, we've been doing some damage to it. Got to have, you know? However, going out there at night is probably going to be a little a little dangerous. So what we might do is we need more fuel. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep cranking that. Although well, that does create quite a bit of noise. I mean, we don't we don't have to lament too too badly things didn't quite go our way but you know happens and we used a play cure which is mm. expensive so we'll go out we'll hit these and it's actually a pretty useful little gun that one yeah, we'll, we'll hit these infestations, keep them down, make sure that we don't get sieged. Push on, you know. Get out of jail free. Okay, do we just leg it? Four ferals. No, we do not. Four juggernauts. Yeah, maybe, maybe we don't. Um, if we come up and around this way, we might be all right. Maybe we just drive down the road. We've been up the driving billboard. We'll have to see. Um. Right now we're gonna we're gonna leg it down the road and see how we get on. There's four ferals over there. Hopefully there's not four ferals anywhere else. I don't know if that's how it works. Way too many plague zombies in this part of town. But we can be sneaky. In fact, we're going to have to be sneaky. Not sneaky enough. Running, 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 running. Guys! Some help. We are low in mids. One last score, Chrissy. If it helps, I'm on it. Actually, what we could do is we could go up and see what these guys are about. Fifteen minutes. 
Yeah. Because if the siege comes, it'll be fairly light, apart from all those. Is so three ferals. So there were there's three ferals there, and we got attacked by four ferals. Although they seem to despawn somewhat. There's one of them. Not even a. Okay. Something weird going on with the spawns. That's okay. We'll roll with that. We'll go up and we'll see this other community, see what they're about. They may be able to help us. And someone's eating all our food. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How much fuel have we got in this thing? Not a lot. Wow, this has been a rough ride so far. Kind of started off okay, and slowly gone downhill since. I mean, this happens. It's not the first time we've had loaded gas grenades not work the way that we want them to work. Wow, I can't even control my vehicle. Alright, let's go see what these guys are about. Hmm. Infestation and then we might deal with that when we get back. Oops, I've got the map marker on. I'll turn that off in just a second. See, yeah, I don't use... Don't use those in this playthrough just because it's a... Um, no artificial advantages kind of play through. Just in case you're uh, just in case you're wondering why I'm doing that. Oh, those are searchable. Pretty sure this is the place. Yeah. Wallies, sure. There they are. And there's all their mates. It is us or their friends. safer in here. Now, it's not unheard of, of entire uh, enclaves to get taken out in missions like this. Can't do it. Come on. Okay, Looney. cannot express my gratitude. You seem quite capable. We're happy to see that. Perhaps you'd like to join us and show off your skills. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, Brash is pretty Speed, tough. Friend. Looney's pretty tough. Who are these guys? They, oh, they must be Zed hunters. How's right? your day going? Got to be. What's the mission? Or is that it? We did the mission. Aha! We've done the mission. Hey. What have they got to sell? So, you want to make a deal? No problem. Uh, things are pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Because there must be some sort of benefits. Lower influence for radio actions. More influence for special actions. Okay. Taking out a play card Greetings. right now would be good for my influence, We're it says. To a swap if you are. Fair sure. enough. Um, heavy weapons we do need. Ah, it's cool if you want to come in. A whistling box mine. Could that be useful? Not cheap. But then we haven't got a lot of influence to spend stuff on anyway. We'll take him. We will take him. Oh, yep, Z Hunters, extraordinary. Sweet. Well, a lot of ferals around. All right. I don't think we 
really want to mess with the feral just now. Let's get out of here. Although whether you mess with them or not, it's not always up to you. Oops. Hmm. The nights are getting pretty rough. Okay, as we're coming down here, we might scope out if we can park up somewhere. Taking out an infestation. There's a few lurking around. I think we can probably get rid. Hide. Morale is cheerful somehow. Their morale is better than my morale at the moment. Nothing like a wasted bloated gas grenade to really, you know, kick you where it hurts. If anyone's listening, maybe you can give me a hand. Still, taking out an infestation doesn't hurt, and it would have been a siege site. It was a siege site. Ah, oh, these hordes are everywhere. And have used up a road flare. It's not like those are a dime a dozen. And, okay, so there's just two siege sites now, so we should be reasonably safe from a siege. So it's our food situation. Plus five a day without rationing now. That's pretty awesome. Um, what is that? Survivor activity. Yeah, that could be worth checking out. Nothing simple. Nothing is simple. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I signed up for hard and I'm getting hard. As in difficult. Don't take that out of context. Now, I think it was Razor who said up on top of these buildings is a... Uh, rear weapons crate so we might actually have a look at that one of these is Dewey's as well we could always do with more more stuff it looks okay but with a play cart nearby no place can really be secure all right so not on this one possibly the next one Yeah, no, nah, maybe on the Tartan Mark. Not too sure. Anyway, it's one way to... Uh... What have we got happening down there? Oh, yes, the survivor. Forgot. That's a point. Maybe we need more uh, distractions of the organic kind when we're attacking the play cart. There's a food rocket around here somewhere too. Not that we, we're desperate for food. Oh, looky here. Oh, 
Where is this guy? Ha, huh. we're getting munched. Did he just run and shut the door? Right, so that's what it's like when someone runs out the door and slams it behind you, locking you in with the zombies. I found a potential outpost, right. but it's in the middle of a plague zone. Think it could be worth the risk? Sounds good for us. Let's find Antonio first. Now where's he gone? So Antonio is one slippery mofo. Here he is. Come behind you. Okay, that's alright. Zombie's not interested in me at all. Antonio, man. Hold up, mate. We might get that some energy drinks out of this. Oh, I wonder if I can trade with him because I am well, carrying. That. Yep, that was a good, good guess. Can I talk to him, Antonio? Dude. Nope. Nope. He just wants to go in there and mess with them. Um. Right. Where did I park? Over there somewhere. See? No, that's them. This way, Antonio. I'm doing you a favor here, mate. If you were to go in there right now, you'd get the chomp. Hmm. This guy might be. Antonio might be keen on the Tartan Mart, but so are these zombies. In fact, that's all they're about. A well placed fuel bomb could take them out. If he gives me a ruck of fuel, it'll be worth it. They seem to be moving on. You with me, Antonio? Good. Antonio, are you a useful AI who knows what they're doing? Or are you Emperor Bumblewank who's going to get me killed? Okay, fella, we're going in through the back door. Stay crouched. So we do need meds, but we can actually make meds. Oh, and we can make fuel as well, but a bit of a fuel injection would be haha. <laughs> get it would be quite good. I needed that. I knew we'd find it. All right. Antonio. Please. Accept this gift. Yeah. You've earned we'll it. take that. I gotta be honest. I won't last much longer out here. Really? You want a place sure to stay? A safe place to bunk down. Got computers? Gardening. Well, we've already got a gardener, buddy, so uh Sorry, I'm mate. Starting to see the benefit of settling down with the right people. Yeah. Fine. Whatever. Good luck with that. Goodbye. Goodbye, Emperor Bumblewink.
To be fair, he was not. He did not get me killed. Where was that? Oh, some sort of curveball. Coming out, use travel. So lower influence cost for seven minutes to the supply drop. Fragile zombies, soft skins, not yet, but on their way. Okay, we can carry a couple items and a rucksack. Dum 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 dum. See what we can find in here and then uh, probably get out of here. do know that there was a fuel rock, which we will grab. This place is disgusting. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We can make firecrackers. We need to. The whole bloater gas thing is. Starting to uh, not pay off like I wanted it to. Right. Right, so soft skins are where we're in the soft skins neighborhood. So what that means is zombies are vulnerable to melee, higher crossbow bolt recovery chance, zombie less vehicle impact. That's pretty cool. Very vulnerable to melee. Way too many plague zombies in this part of town. As soon as it's a confined space, that might be quite good. It might be worth having a dabble at, at that play cart in the dark at night. Just because if we can if the zombies are gonna like dissolve under a heavy weapon hit, then we could do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's looking pretty good. You can relax. I'm home now. Tell you, could have done a lot worse than you guys. All right, we need to get rid of these guys. That looks like a feral. Run around there in the background. Whoa! That was bad timing. trying to test out and to see how effective this melee weapon is. It's hard to tell okay, with all these this is heavy. What, what was going off, but it seems to be reasonably effective. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, don't go out there, guys. So yes, zombie uh, bloaters wandering in could be the main threat, right? Indeed, indeed. Okay, uh, have we got anything to put in there? Nothing of great note. So we're doing all right. Seven and a half food per day. Let's have a look. Plus five per day without rationing. We ration that goes up to plus 10 food per day. Um, converting to fuel doesn't take anything. I mean, it causes, it's a bit of noise, but it doesn't actually cost anything in terms of you know, chemicals or ethanol or anything like that. I've got eyes on a freak here. And I've lost sound. What's going on? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Um, and right. We've got these soft skins. We don't know how long they're going to last. We know there's a lot down there. And... Getting off this way is just going to get us into trouble. We've got Z hunters up the road. These should be fairly well protected for now. And we could do with a little bit of trading. Tell you what, seeing as it should be cheap, we're going to try and find other survivors you know cool? and see if they turn if up down out here. Heard me and yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. It would, especially if they were kind of like in this vicinity. Hey there. So crossing our fingers, rare skills, North Kettle neighborhood. Hmm, long way to go just for skill books. We do know that there is a guy with recycling in here, which would be good to get. Um, but to be honest, we're okay for materials. We've got 23, so we could do with a little bit more. This is true. Keep our morale up. Okay, what can we do with our drive-in theatre? So, we can... We can... Do what? We can schedule a break, play games, mix around of drinks, poker night, watch TV, and uh, more noise, minus two labour, Okay, so that's a big morale boost. Plus three for 50 minutes, plus 10 for an hour. Uses influence and movie night. Plus eight noise and raises threat. But gives you plus 25 morale. Okay, this... T ah, right. So plus 25 and plus 10. Don't think we need to do that. But we sure as heck can keep our labor up our morale up with that and that will hopefully mean that they will keep finding and scavenging nice bits of loot out there and we're down a couple beds which i don't like and that's okay we can live with it because we've got the lounge to offset it i mean ultimately i could probably do away with this and i think that was suggested um by someone i think it was norm to destroy those and, and put something else up but it just feels wrong to have a, a community without any beds whatsoever. Um, so we'll keep them for now. We might down the line to speed things up, but for now I think that's okay. We'll be, yeah, we'll do okay. So let's just see if anyone's turned up. Or oh, welcome to the party. They're not showing up. We might have to find them ourselves. They're not you, they're not, there they are. Perfect. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? They better be the determined because, yeah, soft skin zombies. Nice. Come daybreak, we're going to be down there and smashing that pay. Ah, oh, there they are. They're at Dewey's Hardware. Um, unfortunate because there's two materials rocks in there, but that's okay. Um, we don't know what bonus they'll give us. Shall we go down and see if we can talk to them? We may as well while it's night. Then we know what we're dealing with. 
plus we can use the um, we can trade those trade items we've got suss them out check how tough they are and that will factor into our thinking about how we're going to take on this play card like it and um, let's take a bigger backpack just for now and not a heavy weapon pipe threader haven't used one of those in a while all right let's go do this i I'll think we will so. take the yeah we'll take the wichita oh just when we're about to trade game's rubbing my nose in it this time this episode um yeah i think it would be charitable to to declare this episode even against the zombies now listen to it listen to it juggernaut's coming pin us in there we're in big trouble Have our light bolt. Where are where could they be? Hey guys. You have anything you want to trade? Alright. And let's say hi first. Mm. Hi McCulloch. You are sports trivia 100, 123 and decent shot. Liam hey, the Determined is Craftsman and low on Stam. And Frankie alive. the Determined is under 103, so they're pretty, pretty hey, ev to be honest. Let's see what you got. Might as well. We'll give us lots of stuff though. Um, all this looks pretty expensive for what we want to do. A bundle of siphon fuel sounds like it's something that I would want. And that's less... Yeah, we'll grab that. And we'll grab those bullets. Okay. Here we go. Okay, that could work out for us, the old uh, weakened yeah, zombies. Yeah, breathing through your nose does not help. Blech. Absolutely. Missed, in mind. Well, we didn't even get a phase on that first heart, which is a bit unfortunate. But at least that means for the next episode when we go in, there won't, you know, it won't automatically, it won't phase the first time before we're ready to, to assault. So that's looking pretty positive. We've got the determined to have moved in right next door, which will be, a, should be a major distraction to the zombies and a major help to us. And the weak zombies should mean that when they're charging in and really getting in the way when I'm trying to destroy, uh, when I'm trying to destroy the play cart, they won't be anywhere near as problematic. Might repair this up. So, and it feels like maybe the sun's coming up. It's not far away. I think we can prep ourselves and get ready. And then by the time we uh, roll around to the next episode, we will definitely be hitting that play card again and making hopefully a bit more progress this time because you know that's a nice i don't know what it was it just uh, didn't quite work for me this time but never mind there's always next time a battle against the play card when it's got this many hit points is not a battle it's a campaign and a series like this is a marathon not a sprint 
thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode so far if you do hit that like on the way out if not thank you for watching this far wherever you are in the world go in peace bye for now